Hey, welcome to part three. Um, I'm just going to about to call this through this air vent at this psychiatric ward um, to break out Dr. Kirk Connors out because one of the, biggest we've ever the seen from half asylum. breed things good on my are attacking, <laughs> and he, he knows how to save them. Let's roll. This game. It's really, really fun. I love it a lot. It's everything I wanted Spider-Man to be. This looks like the one. Connor's getting time off for good behavior. Hey, get away from there! Oh no, you idiot! No, no, no! It's emergency unlock! I, I, I can't override it. Patients can leave their rooms. This is your fault. You gotta help me. I have to help you. <laughs> you tased me, bro. What the hell are you even doing here, Spider-Man? Okay, I'll help you clean up this mess. But make sure your friends don't shoot me in the back. I should shoot you right now. Get out of here. Where to go, Spasmo? You're the one who shot me the taser. You should know I'm Spider-Man, and I can dodge anything. But panic not. I'm about to go and. I feel bad because these people are just. Crazy people, they haven't done anything wrong. But there I go, Everybody beating them up. Okay, so now I'm gonna do like the finish. When you've got the dizzy things over the head, you can do like special finishing moves like this and stick to the ceiling and stuff. Pretty much invincible. Okay, so that was 53 hits. Oh, another guy. Ah, that was 53 hits. If I'm honest, um, I'm semi professional this game. No, I, I just I think I was a fluke because I didn't get hit once. Whereas usually I would have been hit at least twice then. But. That was impressive, I have to say so myself. Take that corridor and turn left. I'll meet you there. Hey, wait. Guess he knows his way around this place. Time to get these guys in their cells and play nurse to the injured. Tell ho. Okay, so I think there's like something to collect in here. Maybe not. I don't remember. There it is. But like I say, I'm not going to bother with them because I'll be here all day otherwise because I'm super anal. There's um on the out in the streets when you're doing the free roam thing. There is. I think 700 comic book pages to collect. I collected every single one of them because I am that lame. So that will happen if, you, if I end up collecting things. So I've made a decision not to look at anything. Look at that, you do you do all went to the floor. Yeah, I win. Yeah. Be careful. This place is being torn apart. I hear you. Meet you up ahead. I'll be there. We've got an upgrade. This when? Let's upgrade. So I'm gonna upgrade this one once more. So then I only have to get six hits before I can do my special thing, which I know I've upgraded the one completely before I've done anything else, but. You get more experience points for doing these special moves, I think, so it makes sense. That way you upgrade quicker. Some of the doors are still locked. I'm tired of this circus. Let's dance, Spider Boy. Let's. I'm up the dance. Try this on your side. Man, Spider-Man is so cool. Look at him roll. He can break a sweat. What I like about this game as well is when you get damaged, your um, suit sort of starts tearing and stuff until you go back to your house and um, then you can change the suit. What I don't like about this suit, in this suit he's got a belt on where he keeps his web shooter things. He never does that in real life. He doesn't ha have a belt. So the minute I go back to my house, I'm going to put my other outfit on where I don't have to do that. 
so I haven't got a belt, and then I don't have to keep putting my hands in my pockets like that to pretend Just to be putting there, web shooting, because that doesn't work. It's all lies. No more tricks. <laughs> I do like that. Throwing baddies at other baddies. <laughs> this one down there. Let's, go. Let's roll. I think the situation is under control. It's time to leave. You're right. My good deed quota has been filled. Let's give our goodbyes. Good news. We're almost out. Once we clear the storage room, we'll be in the inner courtyard. Was there bad news, Doc? And do you think your time here has been beneficial to your mental health? And the spectacular Spider-Man frees the dashing damsel in distress. That is obviously Black Cat, if you don't know. Uh, not... Come back! Yeah, Black Cat. You is it Black Cat? That doesn't sound right to me now. To I don't, can't remember now. That's um, her anyway. You're dead. I think the pressure is good for me because I am just not getting hit at all. Embarrassing to be those guys, isn't it? That didn't look pretty. Oh dear. Look, look at all those people. Oh, goody. Hi. Seems like hey, it's your turn to let me through. Those things. Still in a psychiatric hospital. A little bit later in the game, I mean, I know these people have got guns now, but a little later in the game when there's lots of people with guns, it does get difficult. I'm making it look really easy, and to be honest, I am on easy difficulty so I can whisk through this and just show you how much fun it is without, you know, dying. But it does get tricky. When lots of people are shooting at you, it gets nearly impossible, I have to be honest. When people are aiming at you, just go slow mo like that. And they can't do anything about it. When you have the red, um, what's it called? Spider sense above your head. That means you can't dodge it, so you have to get away. So you just hold the other trigger, or the other buffer button, and then you just escape. It takes you somewhere where no one can see you. Oh, he's dead. That's his head. He needs that. Put the things on there. Okay, so far I have done this level without getting hit once, and I can't actually believe that. If I get hit now, I'm going to lose my mind, because this is a very good level. Oh my god, I'm so good! I'm arousing myself right now, I swear. Any more? That is a new level of amazing. It's a lot easier breaking in than breaking out. Looks like everyone's breaking out. Great. I'll have to deal with them later. 
Come on, Doc. Where are we headed? As much as I'd like to take a vacation, we need to get back to my apartment. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with the story, the reason Dr. Kirk Connors has only got one arm, um, well, he's only got one arm for some sort of medical reason, I'm not sure, he lost it somewhere, couldn't find it again. Um, that's why he tried to splice his DNA with a lizard, because lizards can regrow limbs, and he wanted to regrow his limb back. And it turns out he turned into a massive lizard, which sucked. He had, he had his arm back, but it was green and scaly, as was the rest of him, so swings and roundabouts, really. Yes, it's fantastic. Never upgrade. Never thought I'd see Manhattan this way. Beautiful city, huh? A city I almost destroyed. Okay. The past is the past. Comes. I am going to upgrade. I'm not going to do my attack damage because at the moment I don't need it. The, the enemies present. are so weak. Let's go to my apartment. Uh, I'm going to do my web brush timer. So basically, it means I get more time in slow mo when I am. Um, doing the web brush when I look through his eyes and then I have to go back to my apartment and this is when you can after this part this is when you can sort of free roam and you just can leave your apartment and just wander around the city collecting things and beating up bad guys and just swinging around like a lunatic um, before you go back to your apartment and select your mission that's what we're now gonna do the swinging is different when you've got someone on your back you can't do as many things which is understandable That's how good the swinging is, how accurate you can get it. On the other Spider-Man games, before this, it would have taken you half an hour to get there. You'd be going, you'd be circling it, trying to land on it. And because I want it to look real, and like Spider-Man does it, I could never get it right. And now you can. There you go. Door-to-door -door service. It's not much, but it's a quiet place to work while you develop the antidote. You live here? Are you kidding? I couldn't afford to rent the closet in this place. It belongs to an old friend of my Aunt May. His name's Stan. I'm house-sitting for the summer. I don't know about this. Well, the other option is going back to the lizard's lab. In the sewer. Uh, this'll do. Where should we set up the lab? Uh, over here. I guess we start with getting whatever equipment you need to work on an antidote. There's the computer. Kinda old, but it works. A few books for reference over there, not much. Oh, there's a copy of Splice of Life over there. And the television. Guess we should see if we made the news. We're stunned today when Kirk Connors, the lizard himself, escaped from the Beloit Psychiatric Hospital with the aid of costume vigilante Spider-Man. There's no clear motive for the breakout, but police have started a citywide search for these two extremely dangerous fugitives. Now, back to our main story. <sighs> I guess that's a yes. Brilliant. Now they'll think you're the villain, Peter. This is all my fault. Doc. If you help me come up with a cure, we'll both be heroes. I'll contact Gwen and see what's happening. Wait, will you tell Gwen? About me? I have to. Just another reason to create the antidote, right? Now, what are we gonna need to set up your lab? For starters, all my research. I stored my files on a tablet with an Ouroboros insignia on it. But it won't be easy to locate. <laughs> no problem there. I broke into Oscorp once. I can do it again. Peter. Be careful. If Oscorp was continuing my work in secret, we don't know what to expect. This is not the same serum that infected me. It's a virus now. So I've heard. So, ready to play God? <laughs> you do remind me of him. Your father. Oh, uh, Gwen's calling. Pete. Gwen! Hey, Gwen. I'm glad you're all right. Listen, I'm with Connors now. I know, Peter. The whole city knows. You broke him out of prison? It's a mental facility. Are you out of your mind? You know what Connors did to the city. He created this problem to begin with. And he can create an antidote. This isn't the lizard. This is Dr. Connors. Can he bring my father back? Gwen. I trust you, Peter, but I can't trust him. I'm sorry. I had no choice, but he's the key to getting you better. And right now, I need you to gather his research for me. I can't. Dr. Smythe sent it to I'm about to run out of time. So, do I pause it now? Longer. Do I finish this? Have I got time? Hurry, Pete. I know we're quarantined, but it feels like we're prisoners. Uh, Smythe says he's working on a solution. 
I'm gonna get you out of this, Gwen. I hope so. Okay, I'm pausing it there because I've literally run out of time. Um, join me next time, see what happens. Bye!